Hello everybody and welcome back to Summer and Mara. Where today I think uh, we had some stuff possibly to go... Oh yes, yeah, Saimi had asked us to look for an island. We needed to go back to our home island and get a salad. Waiting for a hammer. Looking for some pineapples. Failing at catching squid still. Oh my goodness, that's so hard. And again. Um, touch the tree at the top of the mysterious island. So yeah, we did run out of squid to catch in our in the one squid location I know about. There might be another one, and maybe it'll be an easier one. You never know. So we'll have to keep an eye out on all the sort of deep sea quests and see if I can get a squid there. And also, I'll have to just keep looking at all of the sort of fish-based stalls because if I can buy a squid, that would be a lot easier. Um. Got any squid? No, you have octopus, but no squid. So, I'll keep looking about. But I am starting, as I'm doing quests for, uh, what's his name? For, for, uh. What's his name? Oh, I've forgotten it. I'm gonna have to go find him now. So I can remember his name. Noho, that's the one. <laughs> As we get quests for him, that's we're starting to get more and more and more stuff for, with like fish. So, gosh, that was a terrible speech there. Oh yeah, we need to advance Caleb's quests uh, to do that, and so we definitely need to find the stuff for the uh, the paella. Paella that either gosh what am I like today so yeah that's a bit of a pain so what I think we need to do is go back to my island uh, just to make sure that there was nothing that I needed to see anybody about other than that oh talk to Onzo is the other one And then there's a few that are starting to get blocked by needing to meet Mun. Hey, you're new. My uncle should be here unloading these boxes, but he's disappeared. Ah. I wonder then. Is he someone new that we're going to meet? Okay, so I need to talk to you and get a quest. Onzo, Koa, I'm kind of worried. I've seen those elites around, and my diary doesn't say nice things about them. Yeah, I'm looking into that. Would you mind investigating a bit for me? Of course not. What do I have to do? There's an island up north from here. Here it says that it's an island full of life. Huge palm trees, wild animals, and a little Quido farming settlement. I'll go and take a look. Bring me a flower from there. I want to see it. The elites went through there a, month ago, a few months ago, sorry. Bring back a new mutant. Oh, visit an ancient island affected by the elites and bring back a flower for Onzo. Mutant flower. Now, I don't think that... Yeah, I think I need to, to check all these ones out to the north, definitely. So, I basically, I need to make a salad. So that's one thing I think I might go home and do quickly. And then we're going to take a big old, like, look around all of those islands, I reckon. Well, I did say that that's what I would do this episode, so... Gosh, why, who keeps coming around here specifically to throw litter on that part of the beach? It's probably more inconvenient to put it there than it is to put it in the bin. Oh, I don't know, people, honestly. So I think I should have, hopefully, the stuff I need to make a salad. But I am going to quickly check, actually. Because I don't want to sail all the way back, and then I need to come all the way back here because I don't have the stuff for it. That would be just ridiculous. So let's have a quick look in the catalogue. And see what I need to make a salad. I need an onion, a lettuce, a tomato. Oh, right. Well, I just so happen to be like someone who sells onions, like right next to me. Oh, man. This boat positioning sucks. Don't like it at all. All right, if I jump on the roof and then jump onto here and go round. So, yeah. Uh, if we speak to Caleb, we can buy an onion off him, mm. and that'll be a bit easier mm. to make a salad with. If I actually bought it, that would be kind of handy. Mm. 
There we are, that's better. And off we go. <laughs> I'm glad I checked that because that would have been irritating. We've got all the way back and I didn't have the ingredients. I think I should have ingredients for marshmallows as well, which is a thing that I need to make. So we're going to go back and make two things in the kitchen. And then see what other quests open up and, and do them if necessary. But I think there's definitely going to be some, some stuff that I need to find on different islands. Um, we found the volcano island for Aquila, but I can't do anything over there, which is a bit irritating. And we're home. Lovely. See, I'm, I'm quite happy now because the ferrets have, I mean, fingers crossed, gone to sleep. Like last episode, I, I they were being very squeaky. And if even if you guys can't really hear it too much, I think you can generally hear just a very slight squeak sometimes through the, the headphones. Is it distracting enough for me to hear it that it makes me like stuff up my commentary a bit? So I thought, well, we'll take a break. But they, suit, they do seem to have gone to sleep now, so I'm like, quick, get a couple of hours of recording in while they're sleeping. And talking about pets, let's feed these guys. I should now have about five of them. They're getting pretty huge, actually. Are you, are you growing even as fully grown chickens? Because you're massive. You're like the same size as Koa. Like, imagine, like... Chickens, are the, I know that maybe she doesn't get like fed so well being like on an island and stuff, but imagine the size of a of an 11 year old child having a chicken that size. Where's the rest of my chickens? I should have like five of you. Why do I only have three? Where have they all gone? Well, there's one sneaking around. I thought I had five chickens. Yes, I do. I have five chickens. Oh, can I take the eggs now? Yes, I can. So let's uh, feed you. So we're going to need to grow lots and lots of corn. Oh, look, after I bought an onion, look what look what I've got growing and, and we'll have tomorrow. Also, I'm going to totally, totally need to buy some more seeds uh, next time I'm, I'm back. So I'm irritated with myself that I didn't do that. Maybe I have some. Oh, I've got some corn seeds that I can put down. Nice. So we'll do that. But I really do need to get like a a huge, massive, great. Uh... Oh, stop it! Harvest the darn lettuces. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Listen to that. There's squeaks now. I think what's happening is they go quiet, and then every time I start to record, I wake them up because they can hear my voice. So I do apologise for any any massive squeaky squeaks that you hear now. Hopefully they'll just be quiet. Maybe we should whisper and they won't hear me. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to fertilise but I will water. She just got louder as well. Hello, giant chicken. Oh, so I've got 10 minutes apiece. I don't know how YouTubers who have babies manage. Like, it's bad enough just with a pet. I'm going to go down there and be like, if you don't stop it, I'm going to put you outside. <laughs> okay, so anyway. I stopped talking, they stopped squeaking. I swear they're just trying to trying to troll me. Anyway, uh My ferrets are trolls. Anyway, we have all the stuff we need to make the ingredients. See, I completely distracted myself there, but I did a little bit. The gathering never hurts. Um, but what we're actually here to do. 
Let's go to the kitchen and make marshmallows. And salad. I told you, the minute the squeak start, I start, like, losing concentration. Not good. Luckily, ferret breeding season will be over soon. Right, anyway. We have our marshmallows and we have our salad. So we can go back to Koalas. But that would be a bad idea right now. The best idea would be to sleep at my house. And then head to Koalas on the morrow. Although I have a few sleeping bags now, which is actually quite handy for exploring the islands. I guess that's probably why they put them out in the sea. Oh, we've got an onion harvest today. So I want to buy some more seeds while I'm out there. Maybe bring them back and plant them. And then go exploring the islands. But probably in the meantime, what's going to happen... So I feed you. And feed you. And I pick you up. And I feed. At least when they're big chickens, they're easier to see. There you go. Oh, and some more eggs ready. Yay, I've got loads of eggs. My goodness, they're actually really stacking up. Okay. And another blackberry. I can sell them, they're only like worth like two each though. The other thing that I need to do is to go make sure I go up to the top and check on like the uh, peach trees and that weird fruit that I got. Uh, well, I don't know what it's called actually, it's a G something. But I need to check on that, see, see what, it's, what it's doing, what sort of fruit it's dropping. But the island definitely is looking different now. And remember, if I can build another well... Um, I, th I think I do need to build another well. I, ha I have planted chocolate and I uh, now have pomegranates and bananas that I found on an island that I can... That I can plant, but I'm, I either need to build a new well or I need to cut down some orange trees to make room. I don't know which I want to do most, really. Let me take a little shortcut. Oh, look how pretty it looks up here now. Oh, wow. I love these peach trees. They're so cute. That tree isn't growing very well. I hope it does. I hope it grows a bit more. But don't you love that? That's so pretty. Let's take another one there, maybe. Oh, that would look amazing. Oh, this island is just getting nicer and nicer all the time, and I am very much appreciating it. So I'm going to go and... Uh, oh, the eggs are back over there. I think I can do without eggs at this point. I've got so many coming in from the chickens. I just need to make sure I keep buying corn and planting it. Um, corn, um, maybe a bit more cotton. I haven't been too badly off for of cotton, but I need thread for fishing, especially if I want to try again at those squid. So I might have to do a few times before I'm successful. It might just be a case of keeping on trying until I manage it. How many have we got there? Well, that's another three of those. If I've got the worms for it. I mean, I can always sell them, I guess. I imagine, like, eventually you get, like, a stronger line on um, on the fishing rods as you get a, a better fishing rod it's, it gives you more leeway probably which means you've got more chances oh gosh how good is this looking I want to I want to plant like more coconut trees and things like that along the beach because they just make the whole thing look so much less uh, bare, don't they? Let's see if I can see if I've got enough leeway to plant a banana or whatever yet, or whether I just have too much. Uh, forty-three out of forty-three. So I need to cut something down. Um, 
Are you good? I could cut a couple of these down to make way for a banana tree. I would quite like a banana tree on my island. And having extra wood and resin would never hurt. I believe if I need to, I think Caleb actually sells um, these trees as well, these pine tree um, seeds. So I think I can get more if I need to. And the bananas also need to be down by the sea, uh, right next to the chocolate trees. I mean, because, you know, chocolate and bananas obviously belong together. Maybe I could just pop it here in between. So it's chocolate and it's a, sorry, banana and pomegranate. And we've also got lemon. Did I plant a lemon tree? I can't remember now. I want to plant my banana tree right there. Right between the coconuts and the chocolate. Okay, so also we've got more cherry trees, but mm, let's try pomegranates and see where they can go. Oh, higher ground, how much higher? Do they need to go like right up the top as well? Because I'm going to run out of room up there like pretty darn fast. Let's see how high up I need to go. Even higher than that. That's where I'm like, can I get up here? <laughs> no. So that really high ground at the top is really the only the only place I think I can put this. I don't think I can get up the top here. Maybe maybe I can. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, pomegranate grove up here. <laughs> Can't like maybe we could maybe get four of them up here. I only really have three things. Oh, I can only plant one up there. Okay, well we'll keep a few pomegranates aside for when I have another well. I will need to put one down soon, so I can have all the trees. I'm super happy with my peach trees. I think they look lovely up there. I don't know how the pomegranate trees are going to look, but it's almost, uh, it's almost sleepy time again. Oh man, how did I waste my entire day again? <laughs> Every time. But yeah, I have the stuff to take back to Qualys, so I might just take a little nap. Oh, you know what? No. Yeah, yeah, okay. By the time I'm over there, it's going to be like 8 o'clock, so yeah, okay, we're going to do it this way. I think they went to sleep again, but uh, touch wood on that one. So um, chickens could do with more feeding. Oh, you are a brown chicken. The other two are white chickens. But that one's definitely smaller, so I think, um, I think they do grow as you feed them. If you end up with like massive chickens. How am I supposed to feed you when like, there we are. Chickens the size of Land Rovers. <laughs> I don't know. What am I even talking about? Who knows? I do not have time to pick up everything off this island. Are those my... No, surely not. No, those are just my acorn trees. I was going to say, are they like lemon trees? I still don't know if I've planted lemon trees. I can't remember. 
<laughs> I know I planted peach trees because they're at the top. I know I planted one pomegranate tree. I need more wells for more trees. Or maybe I need less orange trees. I'm not sure. Orange trees are good though because they have orange juice then. Alright, let's go. All know my three point turns are the best. Right, so now uh, we gotta give marshmallows to Brahm and his uncle Taka. Takan? And also, we have to give a salad to uh, Akaji. And I have to get the rubbish off the beach. Terrible, these tourists. No manners. It would help if they put more bins on the beach, actually, wouldn't it? Quick, child, there's no time to waste. Ram, I have some creamy marshmallows for you. Um, don't they drive you crazy? Actually, it's not the type of sweet I like the most. Maybe Mayo likes them better. Mayo? She comes by every afternoon to try my desserts. She loves them. I'll take them to her then. Ask Mayo if she likes marshmallows. Okay. She should be just up here. Mayo, do you like these marshmallows? Mmm, yummy. They're takas. Oh, taka. Pardon? I hope our one doesn't find out. It would be like betrayal. I still don't understand why those two are not working together. I'm sure that they could be really helpful to each other. Perhaps. I think you're kind of crazy. You'll see. Oh, you know what this is? This is my uniform, isn't it? I just realised that because he gave me a uniform to wear. I bet that must be my chef's uniform. So it's got chopsticks on it. Alright. So now do I have an extra quest to take? Uh no, because I need to do R1's quests. And R1. Where's he? Why can I never find anyone on this darn list? It's not fair. He's not there. No, he's not there. I'm so confused. Am I just being dumb? It's Caleb, Edgar, Latio, Mayo, Napopo, Noho, Onzo, How am I supposed to? Do his quest if he's not even showing up. Maybe they're the sort of hidden behind um, Mayo's quest or something. I'm not sure. Why is he not on my list? I'm utterly bemused by that. But we have done quests for Awan before, but they tend to be to do with Taka or Mayo. Right. So where are we going? We're going to. In the wrong direction, actually. We're going to the blacksmiths. We're going to see Akaji. To give her some salad. Because she is not being very healthy. And not feeding herself properly right now. Because she is too busy blacksmithing. Like I sometimes do. Well, actually, no. I, well, sometimes I maybe don't feed myself properly. But I always feed myself. <laughs> Stuff my face with chocolate. 
but she has not been eating properly anyway because she, she needs a salad to keep her strength up. Hmm, the salad looks pretty good. It's really easy to prepare. I see. Will you try to prepare one? Uh, yeah, as soon as I have the time. Yeah, you look look like it. Yeah, yeah, really. Okay. Take this for the inconvenience. Ah, oh, five nails. Nice. If I didn't have chicken coop, I would use them for my chicken coop. Ko, oh, I'm really busy. With what? With a secret project. I'm building a colossus out of metal. Oh, so all the times I've seen you on those islands, you've been gathering metal for your colossus. And that's why you wouldn't tell me about it. That's so cool. And also your tattoos are all like, lit up. That's pretty awesome. Wow, is that why you have a giant metal hand back there? Yes, I thought it would go unnoticed. Not really. It can be seen from anywhere on the island. The rest of the body is up the north, by the ice wall. I was there recently, however some things happened. It's kind of a long story. That's cool. I'm a bit obsessed with this Colossus robot, although I am building it slowly. I can help you. I need some materials, especially raw copper and metal. If you could bring me some, that would be awesome. Oh, I have them already. Lovely. Do you think these materials would be good enough? These are perfect to start building the robot. Thanks, Koa. See? Me getting all the metals ahead of time. Yeah. Perfect. You're welcome. Why are you looking at me like that? I wish I was as strong as you. Haha, <laughs> someday, Koa. I got some coins for that. Nice. Let's have another chat. Koa, I'm stuck with the robot. I need to clear my head. What do you propose? I always relax by carving wood. Did you know my mother was a great carpenter? Here, I have one of her blueprints to build a wooden bench. Do you want me to teach you how to build it? I need wood and metal. That'd be great. I have the stuff for that too. <laughs> We're blasting through these quests. Working with you is so cool. Hmm, you think so? This is almost ready, wait. Seeing how you work, I think I could build it too. I'm glad you learned something. <laughs> It'll look really good on my island. I think I feel better uh, now. Let's get back to this new robot. Got a bench structure, lovely. Put that on my island. Go sit down on it, pass some time sometimes. Hey Goa, can I ask you for something? This is like the fourth thing in a row, Akaji. I'm getting a little tired of this. <laughs> of course, any time. My parents have a little house on an island not far from Koalas. They have some crop fields and I'm worried that the crops will be wasted. It's not very far. Could you go and harvest them? You can keep everything after finishing. Are your parents as cool as you? I don't know. They're my parents. I'm sure they're huge. What do they do for a living? They're retired. They travel a lot and play cards. I'll handle it. Harvest the crops from Akaji's parents' house. Alright. So... I don't know where that'll be. I wonder if it tell me what island it's on to help me a bit. Maybe that would be kind of handy. Oh, there we are. It's actually starting to tell me which iron, which island things are on. So they are on Iron Island. Surprise, surprise, actually. Could have guessed that one. Yeah, we can certainly do that. Um, we could do that just before we go and do everything else. Because we are now at a point where I think with the marshmallow thing, we didn't have anything else to do after that, did we? So we only have the strange metal, harvesting the crops, pineapples, squid, and finding islands, finding lots of different islands. Okay. And maybe we will find more different places to get squid. I just want to see how much uh, cotton I have actually at the moment as well. If any. I have one piece of thread. Okay, I apparently do have cotton. It's being stupid again, actually. That's why. Let's just go across the bedroom. I've got 24 pieces of cotton. There we are. And two cotton seeds. Oh, I need to get more seeds, don't I? I remember. Ah, go back to my inventory. Materials. We've got loads and loads of eggs and stuff like that. So maybe I could sell my eggs and um, 
I also have quite a few shells. So I could sell those two. Yeah, I think I do want to go up here. So let's go see Saimi. I'll just do a quick uh, cover parkour up the mountain. And then we're going to go... Nowhere near quick. Um, and then we're going to go to the market and we'll try and maybe sell on the eggs. And unless I can find someone who particularly gives me a good price on eggs. Oh, actually, Saimi gives me a really good price on eggs too. So. So apparently I do have like... Loads of wow. Now she'll give me money for a boat model as well. And sunflowers. Okay, yeah, because I get I get like eggs every day, so at this point I may as well just sell them. I'm not so sure about the boat model though. Sunflowers, I just sell all of them. I can always get more. Clamshells. Pumpkins, I'll sell ten of them. Oh no, I only have five. Okay, well, that's fine. She buys honey for a good price as well, so it'd be really cool once I actually have a proper decent amount of honey. But that's enough for now. So we've got like 700 gold, so now kind of any seeds that I want, I can get at this point. It's a really nice position to be in. So we shall go and see Millie, I think it is. Millie at the market. Why does it never let me down there? That really annoys me. Like, why have you got an invisible wall there, but there's like loads of other places where I can get over the wall? Darn it. You're ruining my parkour life. Okay, so, hello, Miss Millie. Uh, can I have some carrot seeds, corn seeds, lettuce seeds, beetroot seeds, potato seeds. Onion seeds. seeds oh how do I like oh no now we'll cancel everything Okay, so what can I sell? I can sell my beetroot. Got quite a lot of it actually in the end. She gives me good prices for stuff. Oh no! to sell. There we are. Now I can buy all the seeds I want of everything. And there, I won't run out for ages now, which is amazing. Okay, time to go sleep on the boat. And then tomorrow we're totally free to go back to my island and plant and then just go exploring. I can go to Iron Island. In fact, I could probably make it back in time. And then I can go to sleep in my in my island, plant in the morning, and then go exploring. The whole rest of the day. 
which is amazing. I'm super happy about that. Because a lot of my quests now are about exploring and navigating the, the islands. And I want to get things like my sheep balls and stuff like that. I don't even know what I would get from them, but like I want them. And I built this pig farm and I don't know how to get pigs and I'm very upset. My chickens are all asleep. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll have time to plant, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I think it's going to hit midnight far too quickly. Okay, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life for planting seeds. <laughs> and I'm feeling good. Oh, it's so bad. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. So we'll just plant lots of corn because these guys are very hungry right now. So we'll have a whole side of corn. And if I can get the whole thing planted, then it'll be worth using um, a fertilizer on or at least the corn anyway. Mm. Maybe some more carrots and lettuce, and once I've done that, I'll do the more uh, exotic things. And then we'll just like, you know, throw some water over it, throw some manure over it, and we're done. Probably lettuces for the last two. Like a good lettuce. There we are. Right. So once I've done all of that, then we're good. Right. So let's give that a quick. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Apparently that's watering stuff. There they are, all watered. I'll grab some manure. I'm going to best to throw it as far as I can. We've got it on quite a few patches. We have some more corn to feed these chickadees. Which now needs, I need to plant three more crops as well. Oh man. I don't think I'm watering them again. They can get picked up in the next round of watering. Let's just plant some cotton. What else have we got? Corn, lettuces, something like that. Wonderful. Right, let's feed you. You, you those little tiny chicks are getting quite fat now. I got. Oh, you're another fully grown big brown chicken! Yay! And you are a tiny chick still. Oh, I bet you the eggs are ready. Anyone else need a feed? No. You can have my love instead. Because that brown chicken is smaller than the big white chicken, so I don't know if that's because they've been, um, they're both younger ones. They've both been fed less. So I think that even when they're an adult, they like have two sizes, I'm pretty sure. So we'll have to see whether the brown chickens get to be as big as the white chickens. Look, they are much smaller. But there was, as I say, there's a small sized yellow chick and there's a big size yellow chick, so I think that there might be two sizes of the adults as well. I could have sworn... Oh yeah, I've just got one little yellow chick. Okay, cool. Um... Right, so now... All our quests seem to, re to sort of revolve around... Going on adventures. 
I just wanted to go back to plant really, didn't I? Was there anything else I needed to do? No. I think I think exploring these other four islands are basically my way forward at the moment, so let's get out there and do a thing. Do a thing. Right, so to the north, I think. Uh, let's have a look at the map. We need to go past Iron Island anyway. So if we head north to Koalas and then head out to the east. I'm just going to be exploring around that way anyway. If I try and hang northeast, I'll be in the right place, hopefully. Okay, off we go. So we should be in the sort of eastern part of Koalas now. Hopefully, ish. I want to head east from there. I don't know, I swear, it always starts me in a weird place when I transition. Let's see where we end up now. Hopefully there should be iron. Oh, really? How on earth did we end up at home island? We're back where we blinking well started. I'm not impressed with that in the slightest. <laughs> I'm very irritated with that, actually. Right, so I'm just using all of my petrol up. I've got to be careful. I may have to just take a trip back to Qualys at some point and fill up. Pshew. I think there's another animal around here. I said there was a second ago. Why do they keep disappearing on me? I don't get it. I'm not happy with this. Like, it keeps saying there's an animal there, and then, like, then there isn't. I go to it, and it's not there. And I'm like, where did it go? Why did it disappear all of a sudden? busy driving the boat to know exactly what's happening there but oh and now it's all of a sudden there and it's a pig oh yes oh, I'm so happy I got my first pig yes good stuff good show right okay so we're gonna head out towards the uh, island to the east there Hopefully we get to the right one. Right, where are we now? Yes, this is the this is the island to the southeast. Lovely. What have we got around here then? We got any more pigs? Probably not, because I've got a pig on board right now, so. Might actually be an idea to take that back to home island, honestly. so much stuff. Some of it is just junk food. But yeah, I'm going to explore this island and I might go back home with my pig. Just in, just in case like when I'm exploring the other islands I find another pig then. Orientalis Temple. Oh wow, okay. That sounds pretty cool. Hello little male crab. Let's just do our best today, because that's the continuation of yesterday. TK from the Far East. Who gave me a strawberry? Oh, wow, okay. When they say temple, they mean a place to fill up my boat. Oh, wonderful. That's super handy to have that out there. Some dragonflies. 
Who else is around? Blue is here with some bees. Oh, this is not a usual errand, don't be late. Alright, okay. I'm just gonna steal your honey, okay? Don't worry, I will take good care of it and sell it to the highest bidder. La 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 la. La 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 la. la. So blue does seem to take to like be around the temples a lot. I wonder if some kind of like um, temple caretaker or something. I'm just gonna run around just like get back to blue to see if there's anything that I can grab. Oh, I'm in the water again. Oops. There's like a little fishing spot there. I wonder what we can grab grab by this by here. Let's see, little purple finned fish. Okay. Other than that, I'm pretty sure there's not much, but yeah, really so handy. Ooh, almost missed that. Where's my boat? Oh no, I need my boat now. Cause... Otherwise I'm going to be in trouble, otherwise I'm not going to know. Oh, there we are. I'm not be able to sleep. I need to take my pig back though. But yeah, that's super handy as well because you don't have to run for miles to fill up, which is really good. Okay. I'm gonna take my piggy back and then we're gonna properly explore these islands. So this island is two islands east. So now we know there's a temple. Home Island and Qualis, where we can get Phillips, which is really cool. Um, so we've got three more islands, but I don't want to explore them in case there are more pigs and chicks and stuff like on those islands that I the the game just won't give me because I've got a boat a pig on my boat. I don't know whether I can have more than one barnyard animal on my boat. I really, really, really do need to go and have another try at this squid, though. While I'm in the ocean, I might as well try and grab all of the bits. Uh, I'm trying to grab two of them and I end up missing them both. Wonderful. They're nothing particularly... There's never anything particularly valuable in them, like... Except for maybe the sleeping bags, but, you know, it's all handy to have. I may go through this whole game. There we are. My pig is back to the island. He's got a little heart on his rump. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I have to go and see the pig. You know this. I can't just like be like go back to my island for my very first little piglet and then and then he's not don't even greet him, just like Oh, and he's so cute. Oh, you're a little tiny little little brown pig. I don't know what what kind of pig you would be. Oh, he grew a little bit. Oh, I think they get really they'll probably get really fat. Fatten them up with carrots and get truffles in return. That's fantastic. So yeah, gonna continue on my journey. But I just thought, you know, just on the off chance that I did get a second pig, it was definitely worth the uh the extra little trip so two tiles east and then i'm going to just start heading up north basically or maybe one tile east one tile north actually because oh there's another one see what i said i was like i bet you if i don't have animals on the ship i'll find more animals and what did i find immediately more animals Hello, are you another, uh, you are uh, some chickies. Again, some more chickies, lovely. Now the question is, do I now take those ones back? Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck. I'm never gonna make it to these islands. Worth it for the barnyard animals though. Totally worth it. Okay, 
Not gonna lie. So totally worth it. Because those eggs sold for a lot because I'd collected so many of them. However, I'm not going to go back onto the island just because I happen to have a little chick. Because I've seen enough of those guys already. So I know that I've got like six chickens now, which is amazing. I don't know if there's a maximum. We just keep getting more and more and more. But obviously the more I can feed in a day, the better it's going to be for me. Because the quicker I can get things, as long as I can grow fast enough to keep up with the demand. Wow, oh, man, I found another one. What are you now? More chicks. This is like barnyard rescue. <laughs> I just keep going across here to the east and finding another animal and then I'm taking it back. And then I find another animal and I take it back. And then I find another animal and I take it back. All day and all night. <laughs> I don't mind, but I would prefer to have pigs. I would definitely prefer to have pigs because uh, I don't have many of them. I've got about seven chickens now. I'm guessing chickens are like more common to find. Oof. Oof. Now we want to go up to the north because I want to head to Iron Island. I want to try and do that, uh, that quest for my blacksmith friend. What are you... Uh, what kind of... Oh, one of those, okay. That's not squid, so that's fine. I will catch a squid, and I'll be so pleased when I do. It will happen. So apparently, this uh, this house that I found on Iron Island belongs to Akaji's parents. Did not know. Did wonder who they were, how, who, who they were that lived here. And whose, whose bees I have been, uh... Well, everything is harvested, Akaji will be happy. No, it's not. Look at the lettuces and tomatoes and everything. It's amazing. Why can't I harvest that? Oh, yeah. I'm just not stood in quite the right place. I need to harvest the honey. Again. And then harvest all their flowers. And like, harvest the beach. Now I know they're not in. I mean, they might show up though. Might have a cool shop too. Some shells to get as well. Yeah. So I'm glad I did that little quest. I don't know whether. Well, I need to eat something. And, uh, oh, they've got bananas on their island, too. Cool. I didn't actually realise that Iron Island had bananas, but there we go. It does. I'm going to go back to my boat. I'm going to have a little bit to eat. I think we'll have... We could have some pizza, maybe. Yeah, pizza is good. Go back to my boat and have a sleep. Now I'll be very interested to see when I've slept in the boat whether my stamina goes down. I, it seems to generally cause it a bit of an issue. Yeah, half stamina for sleeping on the boat sucks. Okay, we don't need to uh, explore Iron Island too much. We just wanted to go there and do the quest, really. Um, because Iron Island... I want to go to the, probably to the uh, east. Uh, because Iron Island, we've already had a good explore around that. But we just don't uh, need to pop in there to do that quest for Akaji. I'm probably mispronouncing like 50% of the names in this game, so I do apologise. There is another animal in distress. And it is another pig. Yes. Awesome. Loads of cool stuff in the sea as well. 
That was metal. That's actually really quite useful. What island are you then? You're Copper K. So you will be a place where I can probably get loads of copper. And there's quite a few barrels here actually as well, which is quite cool. A couple of shells as well. Very useful. Bunny rabbits. Yeah, and Akaji is here as well. Which maybe means that I could hand in the quest. If I was being a bit sneaky. I mean, there are mines all over the place. In all of these ones, like Silver K and Copper K. So maybe if I get good friends enough with Akaji, we might have access to extra mines. Which might be kind of cool. But yeah, I ate my pizza and I still don't have good stamina. It sucks. I need a, I need better boat bed on my boat. I'm sorry, little one. Right now, I'm very busy with some stuff. All right, so I can only speak to you in your workshop. Darn it. Well, it was worth a try. But generally, it seems like the idea behind this island is it's full of copper, so... I'm happy enough just to leave that be. Volcanic Island is the one that's probably full of something that's worth a lot of money. Uh, but I need the good hammer for it. So gold at the moment is probably my most lucrative. Gold and silver. So, I'm going to leave this island be. Now I know kind of what it is. A little bit more. And it's got barrels and stuff, but... Trees don't seem anything special. I like a good bit of sailing music going on here. It does get very loud when I'm sailing, though. Right, and we're off to the north. Ah, right, so we have another animal here to rescue. Will it tell me that we have too many animals on the boat? This one's a chick. Or will it just add? Oh, yeah, you've got a little chick and a little pig at the same time. Wonderful, so we can just go around collecting the animals. I was taking them back and forth, but... Atta Island. This is a horrible island. It's all icky weather. Oh, this is the super haunted one with a ghost in it. Oh, let's totally run in here. Nothing bad will happen. <laughs> Huh? I didn't know there were places like this in Mara. Ah! Let me in! Bastard. Oh, now it did let me in. But it didn't like... And it shut the door behind me. Oh, no, I'm scared. Look, there's, there's torches here to get. Let me out! Oh, well, while I'm here, I guess I can take some worms. Maybe I could jump over the thing. Oh, like some peaches and stuff. Yum. Okay, there's some people over here. What have you got to say for yourselves? Hey, my stomach aches. Let's get out of here. I told you it wasn't that scary. I was going to light these, but... I have a feeling I probably need to light my way back down to get the gate open. Not sure though. Oh yes, absolutely, that's what I need to do. There's like a magical tree here. Any scary, scary ghosts? Feed the rat some cheese. This tree doesn't give me good vibes. Oh, look at it. It's got like a face on it. It's like the haunted tree of hauntedness. Alright, okay. Well, let's just light the brazier. Light a torch from the brazier. Oh, no. The tree is like grunting at me. Are these not things that I can light? Not like these. Oh, I wonder why not. I 
would imagine. And that's what I need to do. Maybe need to just really quickly run down with a torch to the gate. Because I think it will open from this way if I've got a torch on me. It might be, that might be why. Might be the difference. Yeah, let me out if I have a torch. Cool. Good to know. Well, that's a, that that did me a frighten. <laughs> Can't believe it locked me in. This place is terrifying. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll forget that exists for now. Anyway, there might be a quest back here or something. So what fish can we get? Uh, some with a golden fin. Okay. Okay, pig and chick, let's get out of here. This is a scary island. Oh no! That was the one where I was supposed to touch the tree. Hang on, let me just check that that's been done. Because Mayo wanted me to touch that. I'm sure that was the tree. Alright then, Mayo. I'm gonna go to sleep first in my boat and then I'm gonna try that again and try and see if I can touch the tree because um, I'm almost certain that this is probably the island that she means because like this is definitely an island that you would dare someone to do something like that okay so if I walk up to the gates without a torch it will let me in and I need a torch to let me out um, and also, she wants me to touch this tree. I'm not afraid. See, so yeah, I've touched it. There you go. Is that it now, Mayo? Yeah, I totally touched the tree. Like three times. So shut up, Mayo. I can totally do this. Just gotta get out before my torch goes out, though. Oh, are you kidding me? Such a blinking troll, this gate. Right, I'm gonna go back to... Well, actually, no, I'm gonna go in and find out what the last island is all about. Oh, gosh, this is like an hour-long episode. Oh, no. Okay, well, I think we are gonna have to find out what happens next episode. But we touched the mysterious tree, so we got Mayo's quest done. But, yeah, I, I've gone majorly over time on this one, so I'm gonna have to see. Uh, well, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more summer and mara then please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>